Today I want to review one of my favorite flavors of ramen noodles, picante beef by Nissen. And the reason I love these off flavors that are special rather than just chicken or beef or some other animal is that these special ones come with a toy inside. So let's see what we got. And we got looks like some stickers, which kind of bums me out because uh, I think it's a cheap excuse for a meal toy. Um, there's not much I can do with this. I can't go run around and play with stickers. Now, most schools of thought are never going to see eye to eye on this, but I firmly believe that ramen should be cooked in a pan. About, about this size will do it. This is just, that's too much. Now, you're absolutely going to want to use some water. If you don't, your noodles are going to come out really dry, okay? Now, water, that's nice and all, but you're going to want to heat it up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn the oven on to nine degrees and wait for that to boil. Now you can use this time while you're waiting for your water to boil to grab some eggs. Now there's a lot of debate about this within the community, but you're gonna wanna flick your packet. That's where all the important stuff is. If you don't flick it, not going to settle to the bottom and when you rip this it's just it's just it's it's going to get everywhere okay now that our water's boiling we have to act fast there's an order of operation if you want you got to put in your noodles first your flicked flavor packet spread it all over there then your eggs With a little practice, you can learn how to crack them with one hand. Now this part may take a while, so go ahead, grab yourself a snack or a cup of coffee. And it should be done in not too long. Okay, once your noodles are cooked to a nice golden brown, it's time to take them off. Now, I like to put my noodles in a, in a, in a, in a, in a bowl. Um, some people will tell you to use a plate, but um, who's the expert here? Okay. Noodles are all done. And it's time to try them. I love this show. So it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. So you just you make it so that, you know, you're not really having any long noodles to go on with it. The, the eggs really, really help. It can slow you down when you kind of cover it in your mouth like an animal. Um, because, you know, then you have to bite off the noodles that weren't able to make it all the way into your mouth. So picante beef, I like it. Uh, I like it better than just regular beef, and I like it better than regular picantes. And I don't even really know what a what a picante is. Microwave for like, I don't know. I kind of like my noodles to stay crunchy, so 
So I would say overall uh picante beef is pretty pretty good. Um like I said it's better than regular beef um which is just too plain for me. Um So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to give picante beef a 26.36. We'll see you next time.